Hello kind people of YouTube and welcome to another video. It's gonna be a very short one because I'm having an incredibly, incredibly busy day. But there are two major news stories we just cannot ignore today. So let's briefly talk about them right here. And first up, it is something that very few of us expected to happen. JP Morgan Chase is launching their own cryptocurrency. United States banking giant JP Morgan Chase is launching its own cryptocurrency in a US banking first, CNBC reported on February 14th. In a move commentators may see as unlikely, the multinational lender will use its newly developed asset dubbed JPM coin to increase settlement efficiency initially within three of its operations. Speaking to CNBC, Umar Farouk, I probably mispronounced that, as always, I'm very sorry about that who leads JPM's blockchain focus, appeared buoy um, buoyant on blockchain technologies perspectives at the bank. So anything that currently exists in the world as that moves onto the blockchain, this would be the payment lag for that transaction, he told the network. The applications are frankly quite endless. Anything where you have a distributed ledger which involves corporations or institutions can use this. JPM coin will initially focus on international settlements by major corporations, helping speed up transactions that currently take a day or longer using extant options such as SWIFT. Elsewhere, treasury services and securities transactions are also in line to benefit, Farouk saying that cryptocurrency could expand further if it proves successful. Only a small amount of the total funds involved in the three areas would involve JPM coin at first. Even if this was limited to JPM clients at the institutional level, it shouldn't hold us back, he added. The banking giant became notorious amongst cryptocurrency participants in mid-2017 when its CEO Jamie Dimon openly called Bitcoin a fraud, comments he later personally refuted to Cointelegraph at the World Economic Forum last year. So that last paragraph pretty much tells you why this is so incredibly, incredibly shocking. Because JP Morgan Chase has come out strong and early in pretty much attacking cryptocurrency in general and Bitcoin in particular. Now, it is of course perfectly possible to be against Bitcoin, but to be in favor of cryptocurrency, but they never really gave off that impression in the past. So to see this, what pretty much amounts to a 180 degree flip in their, in their position, to not just embrace crypto, but to start their own cryptocurrency to use in much the same way that for instance, XRP is being used, that is very, very interesting. And that just shows you how much potential this technology has. Now, it remains to be seen how, how this will be handled, if this will be completely internal, if this will be a, a coin that is only being used within banks, or if this will be openly traded and openly available and open source and all that jazz. We will have to wait and see. But the fact that JP Morgan Chase a company so important in the financial space and who used to be so against cryptocurrencies is now creating their own, that should show you where the future of crypto lies. And it's, it's very, very interesting. And let's go to the second and last story of today. Like I said, I unfortunately do not have a lot of time to talk about these stories today. And that is the newest update to the XRP ledger. Blockchain payments infrastructure firm Ripple has announced the latest release of XRP Ledger. Stewarded by Ripple, the open source protocol is maintained by a network of peer-to-peer -peer servers with XRP as its native bridge token. According to a release issued by Ripple on Thursday, version 1.2.0 of the Ledger introduces a number of changes, including making the network more resistant to censorship. That is, no single entity can decide which transactions succeed or fail, and no one can alter a transaction after it is added to the Ledger. Ripple says in the release, already highly resistant to censorship attempts, with the release of version 1.2.0 of the XRP Ledger, servers now have the ability to automatically detect transaction censorship attempts and issue warnings of increasing severity for transactions that a server believes should have been included in a closed ledger after several rounds of consensus. Version 1.2.0 also lowers the threshold for network participants involved in signing transactions. The multi-sign reserve amendment allows you owners of signer lists for authorization method multi-sign to participate with a reserve of just 5 XRP down from the previous 15 to 50. The release also lists a host of smaller updates and amendments along with minor bug fixes. 
Ripple said it welcome, welcomes reviews of the updated codebase and is offering rewards for disclosure of vulnerabilities under its bug bounty program. Operators of XRP Ledger servers should upgrade to version 1.2.0 by February 27th to ensure service continuity, the firm said. Participants that do not upgrade will be blocked from helping update the ledger and may receive invalid data. Ripple itself started rolling out the upgrade across all its XRP Ledger servers, including private clusters, from 22 UTC on Wednesday, February 13th. And that is really all we need to read here. Bottom line of this is major upgrade to the underlying XRP code to the actual ledger 1.2.0. That is, of course, a major number with a bunch of new features, a bunch of bug fixes and a bunch of uh, a bunch of minor amendments showing you that there is in there indeed active development happening, not just on products built on top of XRP, but also on the XRP ledger itself. And that is essentially all I have to say today. Sorry for this short video. Um, I'm also on another computer right now because I, I won't be able to use my main computer for a while. So sorry if the video quality suffers from this or if my upload pacing suffers. I'm, I'm trying, but I can't. I won't be able to guarantee daily and long videos for you guys in the next couple of weeks. Hopefully soon I'll be back to the regular schedule. As always, thank you so much for watching. If you want to read these articles yourself, you can find links in the description. Uh, if you want to follow me on social media, links also in the description. And if you enjoy my content and would like to support my channel, there's a Patreon link as well as donation addresses also in the description. Thank you so much for watching and I will be back with another video, hopefully very soon.